Hey everybody, today is September 4th, 2011, Labor Day weekend, it's a Sunday, and what you're looking at here is the back entrance to the Slee Stack Forest. And uh, I wanted to show you something down here. Uh, temps have been in the low 70s, today is high 69, and summer is winding down, gets down in the 40s at night. And uh, over here in this tree, you kind of see where I'm going here. There's something kind of unusual. Maybe you guys know what it is. I don't know what it is. Um, it's like this ball of, I don't know if it's mold or what, but if you can see that, it almost looks like it's dripping with sap, but it, it's kind of runny. I don't think it's sap. Anyway, I don't know what that is, but maybe you guys do. Okay, this way. We'll just take a shortcut here to the garden and show you what's going on. First thing I'll show you is my Dills Atlantic Giant Pumpkin, which is right over here. It's grown quite a bit and that's for Mr. Paco's Pumpkin Contest. You can see it right down here. And uh, actually I have a ruler with me, or a tape measure. That's the jelly bean one. And let me give you an idea of how big this is with a tape measure. Okay, end to end. This guy is 15 inches long. And side to side, it is about 10 inches wide. But it's a jelly bean, so it's kind of fat around the ends. <laughs> and uh, let me show you the stem on this thing. Okay, just to give you an idea how thick that stem is, here's a bottle cap, about the size of a quarter or so. And that stem must be about two inches across. And it's got a lot of growing to do if summer holds on a little bit longer, and hopefully it will. Okay, just an overview of the whole pumpkin patch from the Dills Atlantic Giant. You can see leaves are kind of dying in the middle, but they have grown way out there under that pine tree toward that little section that isn't part of the garden yet. <laughs> Next year, maybe. But yeah, this whole thing is uh, spreading out into the grass. So next year things will be a little bit different here. Different planning. Okay, what you're looking at here is a multicolor pumpkin. And I have three of these. I just found this one a few minutes ago. I didn't see it before. And I have another one over here. They look kind of spotted, but in the fall, they're gonna turn red and orange and some other colors. I think they'll have green mixed in and that's really unusual. I have another one over here that is much bigger. And if these turn out nice, just like the one I had last year, then I'll be offering seeds up because these will continue to produce these unusual pumpkins. All right, this one here is definitely an Atlantic Giant. It's growing fast and furious, so we'll see how that one turns out. If summer hangs on, just like I said before, we'll see. Hey everybody, I wanted to show you this insect. It's called a walking stick. It looks just like a stick. I'm not sure what they eat or anything, but you can see it looks just like a little twig. I haven't seen one for a few years, and let's see if I can get them to move around a bit. Let me zoom in here. Get a close look at him. Zoom out so you can see him move. And let's see. Oh, I got him on my stick. How about that? Well, just thought I'd show you guys. It's pretty interesting. Here's a Pride of Wisconsin melon. As you can see, and over here we have a Waltham butternut squash. We have about 10 of these in here, scattered about. And here's some Chinese miniature pumpkins. 
and we have about 15 of these throwing throughout here. And uh, let me show you what else is going on. All right, what you're looking at here are my big zacks. I have seven big zack plants, and there's quite a bit of ripe big zacks that I'm going to pick. Uh, we had a big storm here yesterday, high winds, and knocked a lot of trees down everywhere, and really took a toll on some of my tomato plants that weren't secured to their posts, and knocked them down. So uh, I have a lot of tomatoes on the ground to pick up that broke off, and I'm just going to harvest everything that is red or starting to turn red. Let me give you another shot. Right here you're looking west, and I'll give you a shot of south and a shot of east. Okay, here we're looking south, and you can see a lot more tomatoes from this side. The uh, Big Zacks and Mexico Midgets are to the left, and in the middle are Wisconsin 55s, and to the right, just of the Wisconsin 55s, are Sheboygans, and then to the far right are the Tommy Toes. All right, here we are looking east at the Tommy Toe section, and you can see a lot more damage here because the plants are bent over from where they are last tied up to the stakes. But uh, there's a lot of tomatoes to pick, so I'm going to do a harvest real quick, and then uh, we'll see what I can do to fix these up a bit. I was walking in the Slee Stack Forest, and I came upon over here, it looks like a, a nest with some eggs in it. Let me show you guys a closer look at what that is. These must be the eggs of that giant hand that I fought a few weeks ago. You can see one is crawling out of the egg that just hatched. And uh, one egg is already hatched and I don't know where it is and two aren't hatched. So I'm going to have to take care of this right away. Hey everyone, we had good success with pollination this year. We had lots of bees, and I give all the credit to all these flowers around our garden. These are all wildflowers. The ones you're looking at there are ox eye sunflowers. Uh, Seed Savers actually sells these, and uh, they're wild all around our garden. So um, I'm going to be collecting seeds, so I'll be adding that to my collection this year for uh, people that want to trade. And I have a few other flowers that I want to show you. Here are some more flowers around my garden. The bees love these too. And these have gone to seed all around here. And I'm not sure what they are. I'll have to look it up when I get home because there's no internet here. And uh, I'll tell you what they are when I find out. I've got all these black-eyed Susans that grow wild on the side of the house. And I'm going to try to save some seeds and get those to grow near the garden. And if I have extra seeds, I'll offer those up too. Okay, time for the big zacks. I just picked all my big zacks, and I broke my own personal record this weekend. And I probably harvested about 15 to 20 pounds. But let me show you my new heaviest tomato ever. Okay guys, time to show you my new personal record for heaviest tomato. Turn on the scale, it is zeroed out, turn it on to ounces, and let's put Junior on the plate. Alright, there we, we're all set, and look what he weighs, one pound, 7.25 ounces, not bad for a big Zach, huh? And we had about five tomatoes of the Big Zacks this weekend, all over a pound. Most were about a pound and three ounces, but this was the biggest. Okay, and now for my harvest roundup. Here we have AC pickling cucumbers. I think that's it for my cucumbers this year. And everything that I'm going to show you, I'm saving seeds for, except for the Big Zack tomatoes, which are hybrids. And I'll be willing to trade with people. Um... One onion was a straggler that I missed last time. Here's some jalapeno traveler jalapeno peppers. And I'll be saving seeds from the red ones. I got another big pile of beans. I'm guessing that's five or six pounds again. 
Uh, first time we had six pounds, second time we had two pounds, so here's another six pounds and they're still producing. And these are Kentucky Wonder Beans, they're heirloom from Seed Savers and um, I recommend getting those because they keep producing all summer. And there are my big zacks and let me show you over here is a box of um, Tommy Toe tomatoes. There's about 30 pounds of tomatoes in there. And um, those I'm definitely growing next year. I'll be saving seeds on those, which I already have been saving seeds on. I just want more to trade with. Uh, here's some uh, Mexico midgets, not as many as before. Not near as many. There's probably 60 or so in there. And here are Wisconsin 55 heirlooms. Um, that's about 20 pounds, 25 pounds. And this has got to be about 25 pounds of Sheboygan tomatoes. And um, over here we have miscellaneous tomatoes, ones that I wasn't quite sure. Either they fell on the ground or um, I planted a plant that was unmarked. So uh, those I'm not going to be trading because I don't know what they are. And uh, that's it. So till next time, take care everybody.